So now I have all of my scores in for my students and I am ready to run my uh, mail merge. I'm ready to do the autocrat uh, script run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add-ons, autocrat open. And sometimes it might take a little bit to open. But now AutoCAD is open. If you have existing jobs in there that you've already made, you will see them come up in the list here. You can always hover over them and delete them if you want to. Um, if you're just starting out in AutoCAD, it's likely that you won't see anything and that's just fine. The big thing here is we're going to work on a new job today, so we're going to press our red button new job. First, we're going to name our merge job. Name it something that you're going to remember or that you find relevant. So I'm going to call this one the Unit 1 Math Assessment Merge. After I name it, I'm going to hit Next. And then I have to choose a template. So the template are those Google Docs with the tags in them already. And you have all of these shared with you in your Google Drive. And they are labeled with the word tag at the end of it so you know which ones they are. And since we're using Unit 1, you don't have to have this open. I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, but everywhere where you see a little tag here, that is where the information is going to be put based on what we type in that column. So wherever we have a student, that name is going to be put in this document along with the date and then their scores, and if we have comments as well. So once again, you don't have to touch this sheet at all. Um, I just wanted you to see what it looks like. It's going to look totally different from this when we come back to it at the end and see what it looks like when it actually goes to the students and parents. But we need to select that template. Really important that you're selecting the one for the unit that you're using because it has the different scores set up. So obviously on this one, it has nine different scores. Um, but if you're selecting like a unit two sheet, there's only eight scores, so it's going to look a little funny and it won't work the full way. Um, so just go to your drive and search for the document. Um, something really quick that you could do instead of searching for the full thing, you could just type in with tags and you'll be able to find it that way. So there's our document. We're going to select that template. Um, you can see down below here I was playing with it earlier and I could also click view or use for that to use that one. And now I'm going to hit next. It's all set to go. Next we have to map our source data to the template. This does not need to be as intimidating as it looks. All we're going to do is in the merge tab, this little drop down box here, we're going to select the sheet that we're in right now. And we're using the unit one assessment. So we're going to click that. It's going to do a little bit of thinking. It's going to grab all of those tags in the template and it's going to map them to the column in our sheet. The only other thing you have to do in here is just make sure, and 99% of the time this matches up, just make sure that everything matches up. And what I mean by that is student tag should match up with student, date with date, and then your scores should match up with the column that the tag is listed at. So if you can see the tag score six matches up with the column score six, score seven matches up with course with score seven. If you ever need to change anything in here, grab the, uh, the drop down menu and just select the one that needs to map to. But generally speaking, you should not have any problems with this area at all. You don't need to do anything else on this page. It's good to go. Let's hit next. The next thing is we're going to name our files. You can actually have some fun with this. I like to use tags with it, but you could just name it simple something like unit one, oops, unit one assessment summary, okay. I like to name them by my students, and if you're not comfortable with writing tags, what you can do is this little blue bar off to the side here. If you open it, um, they have the tags in here that you can copy to your clipboard. And I'm gonna click student, and it's copied it for me. And I can just paste it in my file name now. So what happens now is when all of these get populated, instead of the tag student, it's gonna put the student's name. So it'll say Toby unit one math assessment, Miranda unit one math assessment. Um, so I can clearly see which students uh, document I'm looking at whenever I were to open it. The next thing you can do is 
choose if you want to do a Google document or a PDF. I like the Google Doc. And then leave it as multiple documents. Don't do the single document. Then you need to choose where it's going to go. So you should have a folder where you're going to put all of your documents once they are merged. Um, so make sure you have that created in Google Drive. So grab your folder wherever it's gonna go. I'm just gonna grab a random folder for now. And then hit next. You do not need to do the add dynamic folder reference steps. You can just skip that step. And if you don't have any merge conditions, um, you can skip this step. Usually you will not, so you won't even have to monkey with step number seven. Hit next. Now comes step eight, which is share docs and send emails. If you wanna share this with students and parents via their email and Google Drive, hit yes, share doc. Next, click the drop down menu for what you wanna share the doc as. If you don't want students or parents to be able to edit it, do the view only or comment only. I prefer the view only doc, but you could also do the comment only doc if you would like to be able to allow comments. If you want your collaborators to reshare, click the yes button, but I don't want anyone resharing, so I'm gonna click no. And if you wanna send from a generic no reply address, click yes, but in this case, we really don't need to, we're just gonna send it from our school address. Now we're gonna fill out our little email down here. So in the two column, or the two box next to the word two, we are going to put in the emails. Not all of the emails, but we're going to separate it out by just putting in our tags. So for example, I'm gonna open up my blue menu here and find my first email column, which are the emails over here, my student emails. So I'm gonna click email. It's copied it. I'm gonna paste it in my box. Now, let's say I also want to include my email two and email three columns on here. I'm gonna put a comma. The comma is necessary. Click my email two, paste it. Put another comma, the comma's necessary. And then let's grab the third email column and paste that in here. If you prefer, you can also do the BCC or the CC columns. Um, but you should have your tags with your email. So we have email, email two, email three, all sitting in there with commas in between. The reply to, I just like to put my email address in there. You don't have to. And then your subject, you might want to say something like unit one. And then you can write a little message if you'd like. You don't need to. I might say, hi, here are your scores from unit one. Now, if you want to add some tags in here, you could do that too. So let's say we want to put the student's name in there. So we could do, hi, student, here are your scores from unit one. So when the student gets the email or the parent gets the email, it'll say, hi, Toby, Toby, here are your scores from unit one, okay? After we have all of those filled out, we're gonna hit next. We're going to ignore, we're going to ignore this step. We don't need any um, job triggers and we're going to hit save. We're at the last step right now. So we've set up our merge. It's gonna save the job. And then eventually it's gonna bring us back to the home screen on Autocrat which will then give us the ability to go ahead and run the job.